particularly in voc ed, because in California at least, we don't really have voc ed in high schools. But when you look at a higher education, uh, about 75% of all students are in professional majors, that is to say vocational majors, like business, engineering, education, uh, nursing, and other health occupations. And when you look, for example, at, uh, there's, a, there's a survey of what freshmen think every fall. And when you look at the balance of those who really want to formulate a kind of philosophy of life or sense of meaning in the world versus those who want to get a good job, these numbers have switched from the 60s, and now the vast majority of students say that they're in college to get a good job. Uh, there's really unfortunate characters, uh, consequences of this. Um, it turns out that <coughs> students who are very vocationally motivated uh, don't pay much attention to what they learn. They're more concerned about getting accumulating credits, getting grades, uh, sort of getting a diploma so that they can get out and work, and they. Um, they actually undermine their own learning. So th this doctrine of vocationalism, of course, it has many good aspects to it, but it also has many negative consequences, including some in the classroom. You have a whole section on hypervoc. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. We, 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 we developed this kind of caricature of what the world would look like if vocationalism continued to develop. And you know what it looks like. Well, every piece of hypervoc is in the present now. What it looks like uh, is universities where it, where students go just for the courses that they need in order to get a better job, in which there is no liberal learning or or general education, as we call it. Uh, very little of the uh, humanities. Um, very little of what I understand you're going to talk about in a couple of weeks the sort of cultural literacy, including familiarity with religion and religious concepts and the, what, what's in the Bible and the Torah and so forth and so on. Uh, all of that vanishes as students have very narrow-minded views. They require their professors to give them only the most useful information, which is a big drag. And, uh, and, and the world is then very much narrow in, in, in relation to our expanded conceptions of what education can be. And I, no, 